I defended that area so hard. This far back and they still did damage. Rude. Okay. Ooh. Did she drop any loot? Nah, not really. All right, let's go back to here. NXT says, hey mate, is the game as bad as the critics say? Check out my thoughts video. R Sigs with the 82 months, good to see you. Willie Hayes with the Prime Gaming sub. Also our friend Dretharian, sub into slash co. Thank you for that, buddy. Appreciate it, Dretharian. Thank you, thank you. We have things you might be able to use. Star Sector 0.96A just released? Really? Any big new updates? Love me some Star Sector. Wow, Meads. Thanks for the Prime Gaming sub, bud. It's not as bad as the reviews say. I think it completely depends on what review you read. I think some reviews think it's average. I think some reviews think it's the worst game that has ever been released in history. So... Yeah, it, when, when people say, is it as bad as the reviews say, that is, the reviews cover a wide range. So, yeah. The White Wolf. Can you please have Co read this? I watched your video explaining the reasons for the second channel. I think it's an exciting question, though. You mentioned that the evening streams were bringing down your average viewers. It makes sense. The advertisers were essentially penalizing you for lower numbers. Wouldn't your hours watch be higher with evening streams, even without having to make up, though, not being critical to trying to learn? Um, the TLDR is... It is better to have higher numbers and less hours streamed. Well, actually, that's the whole thing. It's better to have a higher average number and less hours streamed. Because from, a, from an advertising perspective, if a person streamed five hours a month, but they got 100,000 viewers, or another guy streamed 500 hours a month and had 1,000 viewers, advertisers pay based on time, generally between like, one to two hours. So as you can see there, it, it's it's a huge differentiation. They want more eyes. A good way to think about it is higher compensation comes with more eyes in a smaller amount of time. You're, we're talking about view, like views views per minute if you want to if you want to break that down. So don't get me wrong, there are there are, I'd, I'd argue that most of the, the people that I work with fundamentally understand like how my channel works and all that stuff. And it wasn't an issue for a lot of them, but it's specifically for like new people, new operations, new companies that I'm working with, that's where it was more of an issue. So yeah. Guardian Angel says that doesn't make sense. 
when the longer you're live, the more unique viewers you get. No, but they don't sponsor you for more hours. That's the thing. They want more eyes in a small amount of time because they only pay for small amounts of time. They don't, I mean, have you ever seen a sponsored stream last like 10 hours? No, that's never how it works. It's not how, that's not how those things work currently. It's not how they work right now. Oh yeah, no, I get that. I mean, advertisers don't make sense. Well, I, see it, advertisers only have so much they can work with. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing what I'm doing is I'm trying to facilitate to make things easier for those people. I have a lot of advertisers that, that, that talk to me personally and they know about my cozy stream and they gave me rates that were totally great. But I also have a lot of people that I've worked with and talked to that have no idea who I am. And they, they don't know anything about the Cozy Stream and how Twitch works and stuff. They just, you know, were given a goal and they're told to spend this amount of money to get this many views, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, you know, it, it runs the gambit. It runs the gambit. These guys are just fighting each other. So I'm just gonna chill for a second. How you guys doing today? Do you have any thoughts on the talk of Facebook essentially throwing in the towel on gaming streaming? I mean, I I, I haven't publicly talked about it, but the writing has been on the wall for all, for almost years. <laughs> Facebook never made it in the in the gaming space. They never did. So, I mean, they they only have like a literal handful of people that have been successful in that platform. And to put it bluntly, they're good streamers. Um, but they've been they've been completely propping them up so yeah i'm i'm looking forward to seeing the facebook streamers eventually probably come to twitch to be honest or youtube and i feel like it's going to be better for them for the long term yeah so yeah there's some there's some great streamers on facebook but it's just you know there's there's very little room for growth of any kind on that platform Tobin says it got paid handsomely for it i mean a few did <laughs> And uh, a lot didn't. Yep. There's a reason Gathalion left Facebook and came back to Twitch. Now he's doing great here. Mm -mm. You're talking about the smaller ones? Italian's not small, are you kidding me? Would you have streamed on Facebook if they offered you $10 million? No, I would probably only go for a hundred million dollars. <laughs> no, I, I got offers from Facebook, I didn't take them. Again, the whole thing about streaming is I play the long game, I don't play the short game. I've had offers over the years to go to other platforms and none of them have made sense. Not for me. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in this for the quick payout. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. I have not been offered a quick payout that justifies me jeopardizing in any way the future of my channel. And like I've said many times in the past, especially around when, when Mixer was picking up streamers, the amount of money that it would cost me to jeopardize my future, I am not worth. So, I'm pretty upfront about that. I want people to waste their time. How about tree fitting? Oh, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. Twitch may even be a bit more short, ter short term than YouTube if YouTube actually gets their gaming sh stream shit together. Brother, the closest YouTube ever got to having their, their, their ish together was when a guy named Ryan Fwiz, let's call him Fwiz, that was his name. Fwiz was, was leading it. Under him was another phenomenal guy named Lester Chen. And that's when we saw like a big amount of you, a big amount of streamers go to go to YouTube, and they really had a shot. 
Since then, Ryan has left Twitch. Lester Chen, who is a boss, stepped up, then promptly left, or excuse me, YouTube. Lester Chen got promoted, then left YouTube. Dude, I don't even know who runs YouTube gaming anymore. Like they, they have, they have, they, their momentum has slowed to oh, a, not even a crawl. Sorry. It's like a drip. A like nobody knows what's going on with YouTube gaming. And they're, and they're not being very forthcoming or public about it. So um, I hate to say it because I love competition in my space, but unfortunately YouTube gaming has faded strongly over the last year, a couple years. Yep, last couple years. Which again, I don't like saying. So, and unfortunately kick is a, kick's a whole nother discussion, but to, to put it bluntly, kick is kind of a joke, so. Yeah, any anyone who has any long term plans knows to get nowhere near twit or nowhere near kick. So, a lot of people are going there for the quick payout, but no nah, man, that is uh, there's no longevity there at all, not at all, zero longevity there. Isn't kick run by a gambling website? Kick is run by a gambling website. Rife with scum and villainy has zero future, zero plan for the future. And the most important part, the most important part of Kick is they are not being public with their plans for the platform. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what Kick is for. I mean, obviously, it seems to be so a streamer named Trainwrecks can give the middle finger to Twitch. That seems to be the entire purpose of Kick. There is, there is zero long-term plan. It is essentially a charity payout right now. And I say that because they're not making any money. And at any point, at any point, one of those gambling execs could wake up and be like, you know what, this is dumb. And just pull the plug in the whole thing. <laughs> so, nobody's serious about streaming. I would, I, would, I would throw out there, nobody's serious about their future streaming is on kick. People that want quick payouts and know they can bounce between platforms are, but nobody trying to build something long term is on kick. I mean, I mean, it's it. I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm saying that because look at the situation. Like, there's <laughs> there's absolutely no reason to be on that platform outside of just getting a quick buck from a high sub split. That frankly looks like a charity right now. I mean, it's 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 ridiculous. So yeah, kick is a non-factor for anyone that's paying attention. Safe house. DJ Viacle, thank you for the five bomb, buddy. Thank you. Now, for the record, for the record, I just want to make this clear. I would love for everything I just said about Kick, uh, I would love for that to be put on its head. I would love for Kick to get a bunch of advertisers. I would love for them to come out with a multi-year plan on how they're gonna make money and support streamers on their platform. Like, I would love for Twitch to have some competition. <laughs> but just right now, Twitch knows that Kick isn't competition. So they're, they're, cer they're certainly not acting like it is. So it's, you know, it's the kind of thing where they, they need to, they need to be a lot more serious about what they wanna do if they're gonna do it. And right now they're just, there's just a lot of people with a lot of money trying to make a quick quick play and it's, you know, barely working, so. Yeah. Kick comes off very frat bro to me. Oh, 100%, 100%. Yeah, I gotta say, tra Trainrex has a lot of eyes on Kick, but at the same time, he makes that company look so incredibly unprofessional. Like, it is, it is baffling to me some of the stuff that he tweets and he's like, oh yeah, this is a great look for the CEO of a, of a streaming service. Great look, great look. It's just, it's, it's, it's insane. <laughs> I cannot, I can, I can, I can guarantee you there are people who make advertising decisions that look at train wrecks and be like, I want nothing to do with that person. I don't want my product or brand associated with anything, anything within a, within a atmosphere, a, an orbit of that individual. And it's like, <laughs> And that's supposed, and he's supposed to be like the DJ Wheat of Kick. It's like, bro, you are crazy. You are crazy. You make, you make that platform look like, 
some kind of vindictive jab at streamers you don't like on Twitch. It's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. Maybe it's a tax scheme by Kicks owners. Oh, it absolutely could be. I have no idea. I have, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Right now, Kick is playing is paying streamers tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to stream on their platform. No, none of them know why. So it's it's wild. Why do I care so much? Well, I mean, it's streaming, dude. I'm, I'm a streamer. Of course, of course, I follow this stuff. It's just good business sense to follow it. Nothing else. I want Twitch to have competition, because that's how Twitch is going to get better. Whew. Ow. Close to me, girl. What are you doing? Train needs to worry about his guy Aiden and not people. Oh, dude! I, I, <laughs> trust me, no one, no one on Kick is listening to me, man. No one on Twitch listens to me. I'm, I'm just sitting here playing my games. I'm not the future of any of this, dude. The future of all these platforms is IRL. Until another gaming-centric com platform comes out, ah, dude, I'm a, I'm a small fish in a big pond. Nope. Yeah, no, nobody, nobody cares what I think about this stuff. <laughs> That, that ship has sailed. I've always been honest and open about about these types of these types of things. Cool. Get the damn fish. Why? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Your streams in the morning fill the T-Mobile arena in Vegas. Ah, well. Diff that's different. What happened to the Twitch council you were made a part of? I left it. How come? I'm not gonna get into it right now. <laughs> yeah, I've been public that I left the council, but I've, I've not really gone into the reasons. Can I post a link here? Because apparently Twitch disagrees about that and they still think on the council. Oh, please do post a link. Absolutely. Mm -mm. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, this is old. Yeah, that's old. That just probably hasn't been updated since I left. Yeah, stay tuned for more info on that. It'll 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 come from them. Yep. Yeah, that that website is is old.
How long ago did I leave? Uh, again. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that more later. You, the only thing I'm talking about now is that I'm no longer on it and that I left. We'll see it at that for now. I love this game. I don't understand the hate. Good for you. Glad you're having fun with it. This here's game. All good, dude. Don't worry about it. You good? Please stay away from me. Dude, come on, are you serious? <laughs> that is so dumb. That is completely unbalanced for solo play. Oh my God, dude. That is silly. Third time's a charm, you got it, bud. Oh God. Ow. Yeah, Dune back fighter. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In fact, that's a that's a Black hole big sun. thing we do on this channel, I'd say. Yeah. Oh God. It's coming now to the hour. I do zero damage first hit with the shotgun. Shotgun is balls. Oh, he just warped on top of me. Simbots, Co. Top two space games currently. First third person with space flights and ship upgrading. Huge fan of Elite Dangerous and thoroughly enjoyed NMS. Proceeded to change the pace. I see X4 from highly recommended. X4 is good. Uh, also, check out a game called Everspace 2 that just came out. Everspace 2 is amazing. Strongly recommend. Is this guy, is he up here? Is this bro coming up here? That'd be great. I feel like he might be. Oh, dude. What's up, man?
Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I got the same gun I have now? Rude. Between you and me, Co, how are you? Between me and you? I'm great. How you doing? Okay, I think I need to go back to here, yeah. What's the game you're most looking forward to playing? Right now, it's definitely Darkest Dungeon 2 in just a few days. Yeah, I'm super excited, man. I'll be playing it, I think at 9 a.m. ET on 8th. Man, I am, I am super pumped for that. I, I revisited Darkest Dungeon 2 recently and it has gotten so good. So good. Jackson says, I'm concerned about DD2. Really? What, what are you concerned about? If it's just more of the alpha, I'll be thrilled. Yeah. I can't wait for Baldur's Gate 3. Oh God, yes. Woo, Baldur's Gate 3. It's probably one of my most anticipated games right now with Starfield. God, ah, Joey Bluff, got it. Nailed it, Boost T and Hunt a Killer. How you guys doing? Hello, hello. Uh, sorry X, I do want to play X4 with the new DLC at some point. I'm, I'm giving it some time to patch, but yes, I will be playing that at some point. Yup. I feel like Starfield's gonna be delayed until 2024. You know, pre-Redfall, I would have said, no, it's definitely coming out this year, for sure, absolutely. But I don't think that Microsoft can afford another Redfall right now. So, I, I if there there is a chance, I there is more of a chance than I, than I would have considered a week ago that they are gonna delay Starfield again. So we'll see. Bears Boy says, to be frank, Starfield is being developed by Bethesda's main studio, not Arcane. Um, Bears Boy, a little confused. Are you saying that as a good or bad thing? Which, which, which one is that? Oh, both. Oh, okay. That's fair. Bahar, have a great night, bud. Thanks for hanging out today, dude. Last one. 